This is a progress report. So I will invite again to the stage Valentino Ashok Dong of the Valentino Ashok Dong Foundation. He will give you a progress report on a commitment he made back in 2007. And I have to start just with a little bit of setup here. Many of you know him, but in 2005, Southern Sudan emerged from a horrible 20 year civil war when the Sudan People's Liberation Army and the government signed the Comprehensive Peace Agreement. The region has been rebuilding, but progress is difficult. According to UNICEF, access to education remains one of the biggest challenges facing children, and it comes no, and it will come as no surprise to all of us, given our focus, that this is a challenge that disproportionately impacts young girls. Nearly half primary school age children do not have access to basic learning. At the end of the Civil War, only five years ago, an assessment found that a girl in southern Sudan was more likely to die in childbirth than to finish primary school. Many of you who know this man's story know what he's been doing, but I hope that you will remind them of your story just a little bit, tell them of the commitment in 2007, and give us your progress report. Let's give him a hand. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I am deeply honored to stand before you here again this evening. For three years ago, I was here and I made a commitment, a commitment that was just a pure human dream. I was inspired to have been invited to join a, a group of the most successful and the most caring global leaders. And I was happy that President Clinton himself has created this environment for us. I still believe that with many of us here tonight, uh, our global community will be a conducive place for all mankind. With that, I would like to uh, uh, give you my report on the commitment that I made uh, way back in 2007. And that was increasing access to secondary education in southern Sudan. Due to decades of civil war, children in this region now have extremely limited access to quality education. Many children attend primary schools but very few of them managed to attain secondary education. Less than 1% of the millions of girls who attend primary school succeed to high school. My commitment was to establish a community educational center in southern Sudan. And so far, we have established our first high schools in the village of Marialbay in northern Sudan, in northern Barakazals in southern Sudan. Our schools opened in May 2009, and it is the first fully functional high school in the entire region. Around the school is an 18-building campus with a signed lab, a teacher training institute, a community center, and one of the first ever libraries in southern Sudan, which will hold more than 20,000 books. To increase girls' enrollment, we build girls' dormitories. They accommodate 100 female students and provide a safe environment and an alternative 
to early marriage. We know that girls' education is one of the keys to Sudan's successful and conducive future, and we are determined to give many of the young girls in southern Sudan a quality education and better future. Thousands of students have applied to attend our school, and after one year, our student body has grown to 300 students. We have programs to train aspiring local teachers and administrators. We provide classes for adults in literacy and vocational training and community health. We are a very small organization with limited funding sources and few implementing partners. I would like to thank those of you who have contributed and have supported our programs especially Nicholas Christoph of the New York Times, who visited us in. <laughs> I also would like to thank author Dave Eggers, who is seated right here, who collaborated with me to write my biography. <laughs> Without their friendships, and collaboration, I would have never done the report that I am giving you today. Although we are small, uh, we have the faith and the determination to do a lot more. My goal is to establish 10 secondary schools in 10 of the new autonomous regions of southern Sudan. I have no doubt that I can do this. A basic high school uh, can cost us only 300,000 and can be created in a year. I would like to thank you again for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. And Mr. President, you have been my inspiration for a very long time. And I am honored to be standing up in front with you. Thank you. Next time you hear somebody say that once children are scarred by war and killing and dying, they cannot be recovered, remember this man. And, and help him to save the next group of children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.